Hey, doing a little end of the day shopping, huh? See something you like? Not really. Curios aren't my thing. Keep looking around. You'll change your mind. I'm Lamont. This is my place. So if you got any questions, I'm the guy to ask. Actually, I do have a question. Um, this friend of mine found the number of a receipt that came from this shop, and she asked me to ask you what the receipt is for. But if you're really busy, or you'd rather not, or it's against the rules... No problem. What's the number? Uh, 21-3872. 21-3872... Here we go. That ticket was for a large box of assorted unknown items I bought from Henry Beaulieu. And, uh, that's all I can tell you. Assorted unknown items? It's a box with a bunch of different things in it, kind of like a grab bag. Look, I just don't want to make trouble for anyone, okay? Can you tell me what was in the box? It's still in the back room. I haven't had a chance to really go through it yet. Hey, is there something else I can help you with? Beads, hula dolls, old books. Got great deals on all of them. Is Henry Belay a friend of yours? No, I met him at the reception at Bruno's house following the funeral. Gave Henry my card, said when he wanted to start liquidating, he should give me a call. Was Bruno a friend of yours? Way I hear it, Bruno Beaulieu didn't have any friends. Mm, but I wish he had been my friend. I mean, that house of his is filled with junk. He kept everything. For someone in my business, the place is knick-knack heaven. Seeing as this place is called Zeke's, and it's your place, shouldn't your name be Zeke? Guy I bought this place from wouldn't sell it to me unless I swore I wouldn't change the name. So I didn't. Funny thing was, his name wasn't Zeke either, but... I'm gonna keep browsing if that's okay. Take your time. Kidding. Ew, P U. This might come in handy. There, that should do it. Um, Lamont, could you help me? Sure, what do you need? Um, I can't quite reach that bottle up there. Could you get it for me? Sure. Oh no! Oh my 
gosh. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'll go get you something. What do you need? No spray. Back room. No spray. Back room. Got it. Cute dog. Hello? I found out that receipt is for a box of stuff that Lamont, that's the guy who owns Zeke's, bought from Henry Bollet. No kidding. What kind of stuff did Henry sell him? Well, the box is in the back room, and it contains assorted unknown items, and that's all Lamont would tell me. Said something about not wanting to get anyone in trouble. But you'll be happy to know that I have snuck into said back room and can tell you exactly what's in the box. Excellent. Let's hear it. Okay. I found a really old photo of a boy and a dog, and there was a photo of an iguana dressed up like a pirate. What? You heard me. And there's a costume in the box of a skeleton man. Really? Thought you'd like that. There's also a box that's locked by some kind of letter combination and that has two pieces of paper stuck to it. On the first piece is a bunch of goofy stuff written by someone named Amelinda, and on the second is a bunch of numerical references to passages from Hamlet, some of which don't even exist according to a note that I think Lamont made. Did you unlock the box? No, I have no idea how. Well, maybe there's something on those two pieces of paper that'll tell you. I'm not going to open the box. Yes, you are. You have to. There could be something really important inside. Because of me, Lamont's out there having a sneezing conniption. I need to get him some nose spray before he breaks some part of his body I didn't even know he had. Bess, please. We've got to be thorough. And you've come too far to give up now. You can do it. I know you can. Oh, all right. Awesome. Maybe I can help you. If you've got any suggestions, I sure wouldn't mind hearing them. Okay. My guess is that some kind of code is involved. You said that there are numerical references on the second page? Yeah, to passages from Hamlet. Maybe all that matters is the individual numbers and what order they're in. Try applying the numbers to what Amalinda wrote. Like, if the first number is three, write down what the third letter is. And if the second number is five, I count five letters from there and write it down. Okay, I can do this. I won't call you again until after I've opened it. Whoa, this is weird. I better call Nancy and read this to her word for word. Wow, Bess, that is weird. No, I'll tell you what's weird. The box the letter is in is padded, and it has this round indentation in it that's the exact size of a human skull. It's like it used to contain a skull, but now it doesn't. Good job, Bess. I'm going to poke around here and see if I can find out anything about a skull called the Whisperer. You better go take care of Lamont. Would you believe it? The guy is still sneezing. He must keep nose spray around because something's wrong with his sinuses. Oh, he's going to hate me.